So now we're up to 2013, I'm having problems. I'm still incontinent. Um, um, by this time, I'm back to my primary care doctor. She's not listening to me. I'm having more and more pain. I'm having stabbing pain, in which stops me. And it feels like a knife is in my vagina. And I'm in bed. I can't have intercourse. Uh, it's so painful. But when he did go in there, we found out. That's when I found out I had the monarch and the, uh, and the TBD. I also found out in the placement of both of those. And Dr. Rass said he had never seen anything like this before. It had eroded through my urethra. It was barreling, starting to barrel through my bladder. And of course, my vaginal area was eroded. And then of course, the rectum was prolapsing and had a bunch of adhesions from all the movement. So I still have little critters running around in me called mesh. That it's always going to give me problems for the rest of my life. Always going to give me autoimmune problems always going to give me pain because I have permanent nerve pain from all the surgeries, from the migration of mesh, from the erosion of mesh, and um, it's not a pretty story.